cancer. It's a very scary word. But an outstanding treatment facility was here at home. I was led to the Lawson Cancer Center. As a nurse practitioner at the Lawson Cancer Center, we are champions for our patients. I am so happy for Robert. The treatment worked. Make it Kentucky State Police is holding their annual Trooper Island Camp from June 5th through June 9th, but applications are open now. This is a free camping experience that KSB hosts for children with activities such as fishing, canoeing, and archery. The camp is made possible thanks to year-round planning and fundraising. So our Trooper Island is a summer camp that's completely free to the campers. Uh, this island is funded solely on fundraisers such as our raffle truck giveaway or different fundraisers that local posts do. Uh, no tax dollars are used for the island. It costs us around $300 per kid to be able to take a child to the island each year. Coast Island takes 32 children each year, 16 boys and 16 girls, and Hazard also takes 32 each year. Uh, we take them down together, we pick them up here on Monday morning, uh, at which point we'll pick up the Hazard kids on the way, we'll stop and eat lunch in London, and then we'll go on down to the island. Uh, Monday, once they get there, everybody kind of gets settled, and then throughout the week, they're gonna learn how to fish, canoe, uh, archery, and just different activities in the evening with the troopers. We have a trooper swim where we go out and swim with them all evening. Uh, we have a night where we cook out and we all just kind of hang around and talk. Uh, and just different activities to kind of build the bond between the children so that they make those friendships, but also the friendships with the troopers that they see working here in their communities. Each of the children are handpicked by KSP officers to attend the camp. For more information and how to apply, visit trooperisland.org. So there's a lot of fundraisers that go into it and uh, a lot of time and effort to go into to raising the money to be able to take these children. But to be able to go down and see the kids, see the smiles on their faces when they're down there on the island having fun, it makes it all worthwhile. The island is an income-based camp, uh, so you have to be meet an income requirement to be able to go. And we're just trying to make sure that we take children that may not have the opportunity to go on vacation or may not have the opportunity to go to some other kind of summer camp this summer. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.